thinking in Autodesk Inventor, things might look realistic, but not realistic enough. So when you, you can take out your, your model, you can take it maybe to 3ds Max, or you can take it out into the Inventor Studio. But if you want to just take a quick look or maybe do a quick ray trace on what your, your object is going to take a look at or your assembly is going to be and look like, um, there are some, some tools that you can use. So if you go onto the View tab over here, you'll see the first thing I've got is some visual styles. Now, with those visual styles, you can quickly go and just see, you know, sort of have different views. So technical illustration, you know, take a look at what that looks like. Uh, sketch illustration. Watercolor. Okay, so a bit of a watercolor. Monochrome. Wireframe. Definitely take a look at a wireframe. So those are wireframes without hidden edges, with visible edges only. Wireframe with, uh, with your hidden edges. So you can see there, I can see my hidden edges at the back over there. By the way, this does take a little bit of a toll in your graphics part. So you might find that it's a little bit dirty. You've got your wireframe, um, as well as then your shaded with hidden edges. Okay, so you can take all your hidden edges over there, but it's shaded. And then we've got shaded with edges. Now, shaded with edges is, is probably what I use the most when, when working, because I, you know, I want to see where those, those edges are, so that when I am modeling, um, I can uh, you know model more accurately or model with better intent in mind. Then I've got shaded, so you'll see it looks a bit nicer, it's much smoother. When I do put my cursor over, you'll be able to see those tangent lines over there. And then you've got realistic. I'm not going to put realistic on yet, and that's that's when we are able to do some ray tracing, but I want to just show you some of the other view features that we have when working in Inventor. So the first thing we've got is we've got some shadows. So we can have object shadows, ambient shadows, and ground shadows. So ambient shadows, you'll see there now it starts to push shadows onto um onto you know different surfaces of the the object object shadows and you got ground shadows as well so as you can see there it's pushing a shadow onto the ground now this does get a little bit uh you know this, as i said you know your graphics card is going to start to take a toll over here okay um and then we've also got reflections okay so with the reflections what it does it puts a reflection on the ground plane okay so there's my reflection at the bottom over there um, so, you know, once again, you can see it just making it a, a whole lot prettier. Now, if you don't want to have it kind of just floating in mid-air, you can put a ground plane as well. Okay, so there's my ground plane. So at least now the reflections have a bit of a, you know, a story to it. Like, how is this reflecting in, you know, in mid-air? No, it's reflecting on the ground plane that I've created. So. Okay, so once that's done, um, you know, it is looking, you know, a lot better. Now, you know, when you are working in something, or when you look at something in real life and realistically, um, it doesn't look like this. It's not in orthographic mode, where every, all the lines are parallel to your screen. Um, it's got a perspective mode. So if I put it into perspective, you'll see there, it looks more realistic over here. Now, one thing that happens when you are working in perspective, um, you know, it's very difficult to model in perspective. So please, you know, if you are going to, you know, have these settings on and you find it difficult to zoom and pan and, you know, move your object around, just make sure that you haven't got your perspective mode on. Once that's done, um, you know, you can say, well, you can have different uh, lighting or IBLs. So, you know, I do cool light and you'll see how the color actually changes. So you can see that it looks a bit, you know, the, the cool light actually, you know, plays on the, the material that I've created over there. Um, just with this IBL over here, you'll see there that it's put it on a country road. So this is not really what I want for this object. Cause it's quite a small object in comparison to the IBL. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use this uh, country road. You know, maybe I'd use something like the empty lab. You know, you want this component on empty lab over there. Okay, so you know that looks more realistic. So when you are taking your pictures, you know, people, um, you know, people, you know, sort of take more realistically. So once that's done, I'm going to take this back to, let's make it a warm light. I like warm light. Okay. And then, you know, we want to kind of make it really, well, make a very, very nice rendering out of this. And to make a very nice, nice, nice rendering, uh, what we can do is we can do a quick ray trace on this. So I'm just going to bring it into, into position of, of how I want it. Okay. So for instance, we want that, just bring it in over here. And that's what I want the rendering of. Bring it over there. So then what we can do, we take the visual style, we take it from shaded to realistic. Okay, so with realistic, what it does, it enables ray tracing. You'll see the little ray tracing button will pop up over there. Okay, so now what it's doing, it's ray tracing, okay? 
And we've got three different levels of rate rates, low, draft, and high. Now you'll see, you know, low will you know, finish quite quickly and it will kind of look, look kind of nice. So the new is disabled. Okay. Um, if I do ray tracing again, you know, you can do a draft ray tracing. Okay. The longer ray traces, the better and better this, this actually gets. Um, and, you know, so, so what you do is once it's done and you're happy with it, you can just press and what it will do is it will go and save it as a bitmap file, um, a GIF file, a JPEG file, a PNG file, or a TIFF file. But those are the, two, the different options that you've got. So you can see it actually looks very nice over there. You know, if, if I had to, you know, if you've got some time, you can just go high and you'll see that it's, it gets very lot of noise over there and it'll just get better and better and better. Okay, so um, it is rough and it'll go, you know, better. I think. Um, so just, you know, as, as you're doing over in rendering, uh, once you're done with it, hit uh, save, save out your drawing, and then you've got a nice little render for you to uh, send to your client. Thanks very much for watching.